Do you guys ever find yourself awake wondering why you're awake this early? The solution is coffee. Yes, that is a valid solution. About that time again, guys. Time for what, you may be asking? These nuts. Oh, I did just have to do one these nuts joke for this video, so give me a break, all right? Alright guys, so guess what? I'm about to do a live stream on Instagram right now. Harold and I are going to be doing a little unboxing for this package that I got today in my P.O. Box. So while my food cooks up, I'm going to open a P.O. Box. Who wants to guess what's going to be in that box? Because we're about to, about to unbox this thing right now. Say what's up guys. I got 31 of you in right now. You guys can get on it. Get on it. So what do you guys think it's going to be? Well, first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Maddie Z, who's from Fairhaven Hill, Connecticut. Uh oh, ho oh, ho! Dude, I fucking love you guys so much. Someone goes out of their out of their way, out of their day to send me something in the mail. Little old me. Dear Eric, this summer I interned at Hershey, and after watching your videos, I had to get you some Reese's products. Hope you haven't tried some of these yet, and more importantly, I hope that you enjoy them all, or at least most of them. Thank you for your videos, always staying true to who you are. I'm glad you're still making videos, and I can't wait for the ones to come. Enjoy. Always Maddie Z. I'm stoked, guys. I'm ugh! oh my god. Okay, so we have Reese's, guys. Oh my god, this is. Ooh. I'm so excited. So we have the Reese's Crunchy Cookie Cup right here, and then we have the Reese's Pieces Cup right here, and then we have. Oh my god, dude. The Fast Break Reese's. Dude, I'm I'm gonna get Reese's wasted right now. Two eight ounce cup. Cups, I mean, do I do I need any more? This is actually gonna go great with the next challenge, everybody. So I actually consumed these for the either I think it was at Cheats Giving or Carbs Miss. I don't even remember at this point. There's just been so much. And then we had the oh my god, the Reese's bars filled with Reese's peanut butter. This is this is insane. This is this is an, on another level. And last but not least, we have the I already showed you guys the Reese's white. Here, and then we have the races sticks. This stuff is fucking amazing, dude. Insane. So big shout out to Maddie Z. Maddie, if you are watching the stream right now, or if you're watching the video, I love you very much. I love it. Love it. Oh, well, it's some meatless grounds, some jasmine rice and cauliflower rice combined, some vegetables. I'm definitely for sure getting sick. I haven't had jasmine rice in like forever, so this is amazing. You guys definitely have to give that a shot sometime. It's actually really, really good. What is going on, everybody? Estas listo? That means, are you ready? I hope so. <clears throat> Just in case, I mean, I don't even have an angle here, but I am so dead after that ride. It's a Sunday, I'm about to go do another supercharged menu challenge. And boy, dude, am I feeling it today. I am sick as a dog. I don't even feel like filming. I'm doing it anyways for you guys, okay? I'm doing it for you guys. Dehydrated, this is a tastier way to get hydration. Why not make a protein shake? Honestly, anything that's just cold right now is amazing. Testing one, two, three. Okay, can I get the entire value menu, please? The what? 
entire value menu, please? The entire value? Yes. Holy shit. The next day. Whew. All right, guys. So I'm actually feeling pretty good after the menu challenge I did yesterday. I think it was only like... Why do you people have to judge me? Well, I shouldn't say only. 8,000 calories. Today, it is Monday, and it is the start of the week. I'm actually gonna be on a program called The Food Chain from BBC. They're doing an interview with me tomorrow, so that's very exciting. Uh, it's all about competitive eating in the world of competitive eating, so they're having me come in the studio tomorrow to give a little interview. And uh, yeah, I just uploaded the supercharged Jack in the Box menu challenge last night. You guys know I always get amused out of reading comments. So now I would normally ask what you guys want to see next for the next supercharged menu challenge. I mean, I could ask that, but we're at almost 196,000 subscribers. I got to get prepared for my 200,000 subscriber challenge. Like this is, this is going to get nuts. The comments, for whatever reason, everybody, the comments the day after are always like the, the most Amusing, we'll put it that way. Every time you say I start my diet tomorrow, I cringe so hard, it tingles my spine, I love it. My butthole scrunched countless times in fear that you bite your fingers off. I'm not eating tacos, so I'm not gonna bite my fingers off. I get that it's for capacity, but time yourself, we're all curious. I actually don't think anybody's really curious about time at all for any of this. I mean, it's not even for capacity either. It wasn't even that much food. Even when I do eating contests, those videos get like a quarter no, like an eighth of the views that these videos get. You guys don't really care about eating contests at all. These are lit full send. I don't speak millennial. Oh, this is good. Yes, finally a good one. Finally a good one. Fag, getting all up into the camera while he's all nasty and sweaty and shit really pisses me off. I really want to just punch him in the nose, then rip out my fucking tongue so I can't smell his nasty ass anymore and then commit suicide because I just can't handle it anymore. Get the fuck out my face, you nasty mother fucker. I just think it's funny. People actually think I have food problems. I think people just have like everything problems. Damn, dude. <laughs> that one gets a heart. You need to shave. Dude, I don't even have a beard, all right? OMG, when you whipped out the Reese's. This dude is my inspiration. Wish I had his metabolism. JPR, you do not wish you had my metabolism, buddy. Cringe at how arc, arc word. Eric was when the girl was talking to him. Where is the picture with the monkey from your old place? It's like literally right on the wall. I have no idea how this person missed it. Vegan cheesecake dough. Where is the block button? <laughs> hey Eric, love your channel. Have you ever considered taking some testosterone propionate? For example, the grow of a muscle weight. It's sold in drugstores in most countries and basically isn't a steroid. It would definitely push you in terms of weight considering how hard you work out. <laughs> Don't worry guys. <laughs> it's definitely not a steroid. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. Cringy AF, you talking to girls, you virgin fuck. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Alright guys, I've had enough fun. It's time to get on with the rest of the day. Woo, I need more coffee. Ladies and gentlemen, so at the store we had to get a head of lettuce. Yes, I, I was craving. No, I was not craving lettuce. Just kidding. Uh, some syrup right here, and I got some crab for tonight. I'm actually gonna try. I might actually try grilling this. So I don't really know what else I'd do with that. Then we have kashi right here. Everybody, I love the organic cinnamon harvest. They also have a vanilla one that I also really love too. I don't normally buy shredded wheat cereal just because it has a little bit more fiber, and I try to minimize fiber outside of everything else.
else just because I consume a lot of fruit and vegetables and I get probably a lot, yeah, I just get a shit ton of fiber every day, so. Then we have some almond milk right there. I had to go through, why well, to get some peanut butter, peanut butter because I go through peanut butter like crazy. This is like my second jar this week. Team peanut butter, strawberries. All right, you guys, and in this bag right here, I had to get some more ranch, but even more important than ranch is the cereal, one of the greatest cereals of all time. Probably not going to be doing a formal, like, little review slash cereal gasm clip in this video at all, but it'll but it'll most likely be soon, so stay tuned for that. After that, I had to get some more bread, guys. Another tip, I've mentioned this before in my past videos, but if you guys want to save on a carb source, go to the back of your grocery store and make sure you find the bread that's on manager special, because they usually have a loaf or two or three or four or five. Next, we had to get some uh, coffee. I don't normally like Seattle's Best, but that was on sale for $5.99. Right here, they like crumbles. That's been like my main source of protein with dinner lately. And then, speaking of, well, not protein, carbs, we have some oatmeal, some yogurts, some vegetables for tonight, some strawberries right there, more lettuce, 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 and cashew milk. That has been the grocery haul for this video, guys. I will see you in the next part of the video. All right, so it's a Monday evening. I have my Instagrammers right there. Well, yes, right there. We're going to be making sushi. Yes. Eric is a man of all talents. Let's just put it that way, okay, guys? Let's try this again. Now, guys, you have to remember, I'm the sushi master right now. Guys, remember, this, like, the, you're, you're watching art right now. Both sides evenly. Whoa. Watch this motherfucker just meow. It's not gonna hold up at all, but who cares? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Prepare to cringe. Oh fuck. Yep, that was not a sushi roll. <laughs> that is not a sushi roll at all. Thankfully, we can try again. Whoa, I think we got that one a lot better. Ooh. Okay, so here's the thing. The sushi didn't really come out the way I wanted it to. I'm gonna blame it on my lack of multitasking skills, but you know what? We're trying to do a thousand things at once. We're just gonna give this one a not terrible rating. Let's just say that I'll try harder next time. I mean, this isn't a total failure. I've had much worse. It's Kashi time. That is, uh, that is a milk drip right there. <laughs> so a lot of you ask me, Eric, why do you always have cereal before bed? Guys, if anybody tells you that you can't eat cereal or carbs past a certain time, just disregard them and don't take any advice from them, please. You can eat cereal whenever you want. Whenever you want. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner especially Kashi. Well, certain Kashi cereals, that is pretty damn good. A nice perfect blend of cinnamon and my cold. I'll get over it eventually. They're, uh, they're doing like, I think this is part two of like, they're doing like this food chain thing over there. Okay. And this is like this, the second episode for it, so. Well, when I was at my worst, I was eating pounds upon pounds upon pounds of vegetables every day just to, to, to satisfy my appetite. So I knew going into treatment to getting to getting over my illness that it was going to be very hard. I always had had seen these eaters on on TV. I'd always seen Man vs. Food. I'd always seen these different shows, but I never would imagine I'd be doing it myself. A lot of people um, say, and it's it's a big thing within recovering anorexics that they fear going to the other side of the spectrum. They they fear going to the opposite side where you're you're binge eating. You are. Uh, eating large amounts of food within a within a short amount of time or a long amount of time it really depends on how you look at it but the thing about competitive eating that's different from actual binge eating and binge eating disorders is that binge eating is it, it involves almost a loss of, of consciousness you kind of you lose a sense of yourself you don't really know where you are you don't really know what's going on around you where you're in a contest you are really separated i mean and you're you're doing your own thing for 10 minutes and after that contest is done you're done it's it's more of an actual uh, sanctioned event. It's a sport. It's not binge eating and they're two entirely different things. So all right Well, that was uh, very very unexpected and uh, I sh Realized that I haven't done a radio interview in a long time I wasn't expecting him to ask about like my story and everything But then again, there's always a catch to everything so and it should be up this week If it is up it will be in the description of this video so you guys should go watch it or listen to it
Alrighty, admittedly the uh, past few days have been interesting ones. At this point after today, after I pull 455, I feel like literally the strongest I've ever been in my entire life. Physically strong, I should say that. I, I don't remind myself enough about where I started this entire journey. I can remember six months ago being in such a, a, a weak, fragile state that I, I just, I didn't ever think I'd get back to this point. That's what I tell you guys, even if you don't go to the gym, even if you don't go lift weights, it can be anything. It's ignited more fire in my life and I feel now more passionate than I've ever been about training, fitness. It's even inspired me to go back into coaching again. This is the point in the video where I can actually say I have a few slots open if anybody's interested in online coaching. Electric at gmail.com. I'm even considering getting my NASM certification. I looked into their programs and everything, so that's on the agenda for the future. I'm I'm just proud of myself. I'm proud of how far I've come. And if anybody tells you you can't be proud of yourself for something that you may feel extremely passionate for or motivated by, don't let that stray you away from staying the course. I'm gonna get my fair share of people telling me I'm not qualified to do what I do or I'm just being overly emotional about things. But you guys, screw other people's opinions when it comes to stuff like this. Be proud of where you're at and keep moving forward as cliche as that sounds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Harold and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. If you guys like what you see, if you guys are just excited as I am about the big 200K milestone, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see. Even though I've already pretty much decided what I'm going to be doing for my 200,000 subscriber challenge, get excited because I'm super excited. Check me out on Patreon if you haven't already. It's a great way for you guys to support us YouTube creators. That means both myself and Harold that go out of their way to make YouTube videos. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Go right ahead.